All right, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever it is that you're listening to this uh, video. Uh, I am here today to show you how to wirelessly share from a device to your Promethean board. So wirelessly sharing means no wires, and you can do this using any device that we have available to us, an iPad, an iPhone, a Chromebook, or a Windows PC uh, laptop. So um, what I'm going to demonstrate today is a Windows laptop and a Chromebook. Um, I will do an iPad or an iPhone uh, sharing session in a little bit, but for now, because Chromebooks and Windows laptops are the most common devices available to us in the school, we're going to just focus on those two. Okay, so what we're going to do to get started is we're going to go over to our Promethean board here and we're going to open up our unified menu. And then we're going to tap the screen share icon over here on the right. And what that's going to do is initially you're probably going to get a message asking you to um, give some permissions to allow to access photos, videos, and other media on your Promethean board, and that's totally fine. So you're going to hit allow on that one. And then once you've allowed that, you're going to get this pop-up window in the middle here, and you'll see that you have the panel name up at the top. This one is active panel dash and then a bunch of random numbers. And then panel ID, which is a six-digit code. You can change the six-digit code by pressing the orange recycle button. So if you want to use a new code every time, or you don't like that, those numbers or whatever, you can just hit that to refresh. So I'm going to refresh, and that's going to kick all the devices that are currently connected uh, to the device off. So just be aware of that if you do that in the middle of a session where kids are sharing this, um, and you hit the refresh button, it's going to kick everybody off, and they're going to have to rejoin. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. So you have this six-digit code here, 822683. That's the code there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over to my device. And I am going to enter in that code. So what I need to do is I need to open up an extension that I have installed on my computer. So the Google Chrome extension that's on the computer will work on a Windows laptop and it works exactly the same on a Chromebook. So I'm going to open up that extension. If you can't see it in your list of, uh, open, of extensions here, you're going to click on the puzzle piece, and the puzzle piece is going to show it. You just have to scroll down a little bit. I've got a number of extensions installed, so we're just going to scroll down until we see it. And you see here I have Promethean Screen Share. That's the name of the extension that I'm looking for. I'm going to click the pin button so it's blue, so it always appears up at the top, because that's going to be a common extension that I'm going to use there. And you can encourage the kids to do that, too, when they're logged into their own Chromebooks and have access to this. So I'm going to click on Screen Share, and what it's going to do is it's going to connect it's going to ask me for, to, for me to enter in my panel ID and my name. So the panel ID, like we mentioned before, is what we got from the board. We see that up there. It's 822683. So I'm going to put that in here, 822683. And I'm going to put in my name, Anthony. And then once I've done that, on my computer that I want to share from, I'm going to click on Enter Waiting Room. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a pop-up that asks you to share your screen. I'm going to click on the thumbnail of my entire screen, and I'm going to click Share. If I want to share my audio also, my system audio, to hear like the dings and the bells and the whistles and things like that, I can do that. I'm going to leave that off for now. So I'm going to click Share. And now what it says is that I'm in the waiting room. So if I go back over to the Promethean board here, I'm going to see that in that pop-up here, I've got a little picture of some people. And there's an orange notification that says one person, one, one that's me waiting in the waiting room. So if you have all of your kids uh, signing on at the same time, you'll see 20 or however many kids that you have in your classroom. When I tap on that person, I'm going to get a list of all the people in my waiting room. I'm going to allow, to allow this person into my waiting room, I'm going to click the checkbox there, and then I'm going to click share down at the bottom. Now, if you have a funny student who has put in an incorrect name or an inappropriate name, you're going to just X them right out. And that's going to kick them out. They're not going to be able to share. Okay? That's only just for that time. They can try it again and, and reshare. So they can go through the same process, enter in the code. Um, and when they've entered in an appropriate name uh, or you want to allow them in, then you can do that. So I'm going to connect again. And you see I pop back into the waiting room. So that's Anthony there. So this time I am going to allow it. I'm going to click the checkbox. And I'm going to click share. So now my Chromebook 
is displaying up on the Promethean board. I can present a Google slide presentation, I can show a video, I can do whatever it is that you want me to share from my computer onto the Promethean board. And again, that's the same process that's going to work on a laptop and a Chromebook. Hope that was helpful. If you need any further assistance with this or anything else tech related, let me know. Happy to help at any time. Have a great day.